A quiet shift is starting inside Samsung's software labs, and it's one that feels bigger than a simple update number. Subtle design experiments, hidden toggles, and revamped tools are coming together in a way that hints at a major step forward for Galaxy users. It's not just faster or cleaner. It feels like Samsung is preparing your phone for something far more customizable, more creative, and surprisingly more personal. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Now, the interesting part about this new build is that Samsung seems to be treating one UI 8.5 like a bridge between what we've been using and what they want the Galaxy experience to eventually become. At first glance it looks familiar, but once you start poking around, the changes unfold in layers, and the deeper you go, the more you start noticing patterns that weren't there before. That's why this update feels less incremental and more like Samsung quietly pushing the reset button on how its interface behaves. Take the quick panel. For years it felt structured, almost stubborn about the way toggles had to live in neatly fixed rows. With one UI 8.5, that rigidity melts away. Every toggle feels like a movable piece now. You drag them, resize them, and redraw the layout like a personal dashboard. And once you hit that edit button, you can suddenly make the brightness and volume slider sliders vertical, horizontal, or tucked away in a corner you prefer. It's the first time Samsung has let users rebuild the panel with this much freedom. Even the ability to remove unused toggles feels overdue, and now it's as simple as dragging something off your board. Of course, early builds always come with quirks. The add toggle button works when it wants to, but the list behind it reveals what Samsung is planning. A more modular system where every tool, every shortcut, and every control sits exactly where you want it. It's a cleaner, more adaptable version of something Apple keeps locked down, and Samsung knows it. This is why so many people are already talking about it. But the changes don't stop at the surface. Samsung is finally leaning harder into content creation in a way that actually reflects how people use their phones today. Log video was already impressive on the S25 Ultra, but editing it on device always felt unfinished. Now, One UI 8.5 introduces proper lookup table previews and more granular color controls. Even though the LUTs don't fully apply yet, the skeleton is there. Sliders, presets, and real time changes that make on Phone grading feel less like a chore and more like a mini studio. You can finally tweak color curves manually, save your grade, and export it without opening a laptop. Pair that with the incoming improvements to DeX and suddenly your phone starts behaving less like a phone and more like a mobile editing workstation. Samsung knows creators want speed and flexibility, and you can feel that intention woven through every small change. Pro Video Mode also gets a meaningful update. Being able to shoot in 8K at 25A feast might sound like a niche addition, but for regions with 50 UZ lighting, this eliminates flicker without forcing you to shoot at 30FPS. The natural motion blur from a 180-degree shutter angle looks smoother and more cinematic, which explains why so many filmmakers prefer this setting. It's the type of detail you wouldn't notice unless you know where to look, Yet once you use it, you don't want to go back. Samsung even introduces a clean preview toggle that hides all those on screen controls so you can focus on framing your shot. And it's not limited to video. The same option appears in Pro Photo, making the whole camera experience feel more intentional. Combine that with the option to save videos directly to external storage. Now pulled into the main camera settings for quicker access, and Samsung is clearly preparing for heavier files and more advanced shooting habits. Beyond the camera, One UI 8.5 brings a subtle but meaningful shift in design language. System apps now share a tighter, floating navigation bar instead of those wide bottom menace. The phone app, gallery, weather, and other tools adopt a pill shaped control layout that keeps everything centered and reachable. It's reminiscent of iOS, sure, but Samsung gives it its own tone. With softer transitions and less visual clutter, 
Everything feels more condensed and deliberate. The Gallery app is another standout. The interface is easier to navigate, previews load faster, and the editing tools feel more polished. Compared to iOS, Samsung's Gallery continues to offer more flexibility and deeper features, and this update widens that gap even more. Combined with the upgraded generative editing tools, the entire creative workflow feels smoother. Removing objects takes fewer taps, the interface guides you instead of overwhelming you, and the keep editing option means you don't have to repeatedly export and re-open the image. The ability to check previous versions is a small detail, but one that noticeably improves the rhythm of editing. Screen recording also gets smarter. Instead of capturing the entire display and trimming later, you can now record just a portion of the screen from the start. The fine tuning box gives you a magnified view so you can adjust the edges precisely, making it perfect for tutorials or highlighting specific features. It's quick, efficient, and it makes you wonder why this wasn't added years ago. And then there's Dex. The desktop mode got a big redesign with One UI 8, but Samsung wasn't done. One UI 8.5 seems to unlock the ability to create multiple virtual desktops for better multitasking, though the feature doesn't fully work yet. The UI elements are already in place. If Samsung follows through, Dex could become one of the most underrated productivity tools in the mobile world, turning your phone into a true multi-desktop workstation. What ties all of this together is Samsung's renewed focus on making everything easier to reach, faster to change, and more flexible to shape around your own habits. Even the Settings app reflects this. Options are cleaner, grouped more tightly, and designed to reduce the number of taps needed to reach something important. The update page now has a redesigned gradient background that looks refreshing and more modern than the utilitarian version we've had for years. And the bigger story behind this, One UI 8.5 is emerging earlier than expected. The beta builds have already been spotted internally for the S25 Ultra, with Samsung accelerating timelines as it shifts closer to Google's updated Android release schedule. The rollout might arrive sooner than the usual cycle, and recent leaks show that Samsung is preparing multiple devices, including foldables. To join the beta right after the S25 lineup, it's a rare moment where Samsung is moving faster, not slower, with its software releases. All of this hints at something important One UI is evolving faster than before, and the 8.5 version is not a minor patch. It's the beginning of a more customizable, more creator, friendly, and more adaptive interface that feels like a preview of where Samsung wants to take the Galaxy ecosystem next. And if this early build is anything to go by, the next wave of updates might be even more ambitious. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this deep dive into One UI 8.5's upcoming changes, stay tuned. There's a lot more coming. Like, share, and subscribe for more tech breakdowns, and I'll catch you in the next one.